This is him, top former amateur in Europe, now under the wing of the Duva organization. Big man, six foot four, 17 stone. Only gone the distance three times. Here meeting Wes Turner. Last time out, he was knocked out by Ray Annis, and this looked like being a good soft night's work for Galata. So another chance to see the unbeaten Andrew Galotta of Poland, who's working his way steadily up the heavyweight rankings, unbeaten in 24 up against Wes Turner. It's not the most significant test, maybe, facing Galotta. West Virginian can punch on the club circuit, and he's down very early on here as Galotta lets rip. Oh, is he going to be able to carry on? He's not. He's not going to be able to carry on. Well, that was scary. Extremely quick for Galotta. It's his 13th first round win. It's very, very good stuff. It just looked as if he was going to start off from the jab and that suddenly looks the part, doesn't he? And then he let go with some beautiful punches too. Very good right hands. Really set that up. Popped everything out of the legs of West Turner. The locker is one of those heavyweights who, as the old DJs used to say, is uh, bubbling under, really, in the uh, heavyweight charts. And that's a good right hand. That's fine. I think there's a really couple of punches there for that. Tremendous. I think there's two right hands. There's the first one. Just missed the second one right on the button. And then three fast punches to finish it. That was a nice finish in good style. But to put it in context, West Turn has been beaten by Jose Revolta in five, Alex Garcia in one, knocked out in ten by Ray Annis, who was uh, mentioned as a possible Frank Bruno opponent a few months back. Galotta has done the job here emphatically. The Dubas may have lost Holyfield, but they've got Galotta.